right? In this very video, you are going to learn about Lorentz transformation. And now, want to look at Lorentz transformation? What is Lorentz transformation? Well, before I, before we go into Lorentz transformation, I want to tell you if you have not watched the uh, series of videos that we have on relativity, if you have not learned about Galilean transformation, if you have not learned about uh, Michel Simonis experiment and some other things, you might not be able to get this very um, Lorentz transformation very well. So for you to get it, you have to make sure you watch those videos now. If you are watching, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button. So a big bell so that anytime you get any time we release any video you can always get it now going into Lorentz transformation like i said you need to know about galilean transformation very well now um uh, galilean transformation gave, uh, gave, was the first idea of relativity now and and i have, if you, you can also go through the video on the principle of galilean relativity it's uh, the special relativity which we are now moving into when we talk about Lorentz transformation, Lorentz transformation came up after uh, Michel Michel Simonis experiment. Now they they, they they tried to carry out an experiment to determine the velocity of the Earth, and one of the uh, assumption or one of the postulates of special relativ of relativity is that you cannot determine your velocity. Now they tried to use light. The velocity of light they wanted to use it to do what to determine the velocity of the earth and also to the to, to 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 check if light needs what a a medium for it to travel that is lumiferous eater now they carried out that that experiment but that experiment failed to give them their expected results and now it was uh, lawrence uh, it was lawrence that came up with what which is which is a uh, law of what of or, or the is transformation that has to do with contraction, time dilation, and stuff like that. And this was the fundamental basis on which uh, um, Einstein, I mean, uh, postulated that the speed of light for all frames of reference what remains the same. Now we want to look at Lorentz transformation of of uh, coordinate first, and thereafter we go to Lorentz transformation of of uh, velocities. Now let us look. Let us just throw back. Uh, take a throw back to uh, the, the transformation according to Galileo. Since if we have two frames of reference, uh, we have two frames of reference. Right. So this I'm going to call this frame K, and I will call this frame what uh, K prime. Is we call this one K. Now, so that if we have the coordinates z, mean uh, y, x, z, then we have what z prime here, then we have what x prime. Where this distance that separates us is what vt, and uh, that's according to k prime. Now, Galilean transformation. Uh, one of the the, the assumptions is that what is that the velocity is that you cannot determine your absolute velocity but now and then if, if we, we have the if we have this equation from there that x prime is going to be what x minus what vt right now and it is also what x prime into what x minus what vt prime now this tells us that what the time taken for an event to occur for this very uh, frame and the time taken for events to occur for this frame is not is they are the same so we, we, we and we came up with the coordinate that what um that y equals y prime x or z equals equals z prime and then t equals what t prime but now and then we we have it at what x prime equals what x minus what vt now i will not show details of on on uh, on this because i've done a video on that already now we look at this very equation that we have here the, all of these these are these are the transform transformation of what of of coordinates for galilean uh, uh transformation of velocity i mean of, of coordinates this is what it is now if you look at this very what we have here everything we have here tells us that what 
you can see the, the time the time taken for event to occur in the in the two frames are, are the same now so many experiments carried out and uh, they proved this very this uh, galenia transformation wrong now lawrence came up with his own transformation of velocity or transformation of coordinates he agreed with the fact that what y and y prime are the same the reason is because the motion is not along x i mean it's not along y or z so he also agrees with what with, with this right but these two they don't agree so lawrence says says that what that the that x and x prime are, only, are related are related by this but are related by this but not exactly this they are, it's only what proportional to this now what if we, if, we are, if we are going to go by uh, x prime I maybe mean, we are going to go by galenian transformation we should talk talk about what that x should be what x prime minus what vt or vt prime whichever way it doesn't matter because time taken for event to occur in my frame is time taken for event to occur in your frame now but then let us look at galenian transformation now the linear transformation does not agree with the time. Now, if we must be able to study Galenian, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Lorentz transformation, what we must do, is we must wait until some time t equals zero in my frame of reference when the two of the, our two frames coincide, right? Our two frames coincide. Now, we we are going to observe an event, but before we observe that event. When our two frames coincide, we are going to set our time to be what? To be equal to zero. Now, when our frame coincide, it's very, very possible for it for us to synchronize our time at that point. If you need the video on, the, on synchronization of time, you can also check there, you will see it there. Now, we, we, we set our time to what? To zero, right? Now, one of the assumptions we are going to use is that what? We are going to use Einstein's postulate of special relativity. We say that what? The speed of light is not relative. It is what absolute. It does not depend on the speed of the observer or the, the speed of the source. So if you are trying that you are traveling at a speed of three three over four of light and you and you and you release light uh, the light that light cannot travel more than that and and and, and uh, that light cannot travel less than c, right? So let's so you are going to say that what the speed of light is c. I know that c is what three times ten is for what eight meter per seconds, right? Per seconds. Now, well, then we are going to wait so that at the at the initial point, right? We are going to wait until our two frames coincide. That is, our two frames are here before you move away from me. Now, when we wait for that for that very time, we are going to I'm going to set my time to be what zero. You are going to also set your time t prime to be what zero. Now, what is our x and y coordinates at that time? Is what and my x is zero. My x is what? But your y, I mean your x prime is what? Is zero. Now, I am in my frame. Let's say I release a pulse of of light. Right. So when I when I when I release that, how? And then that light, let's say, it strikes a particular stuff at this point. What are you going to record? Now I'm not going to do the whole of the transformation because I've shown some of these things in uh, in Galenian transformation. So what I would just go, go for is what the fact that x prime equals what x minus what vt. But Galileo did not I make mean, Galileo said this, but Lorentz transformation says that what this is not correct. That what that x prime is only proportional to this. So we have to introduce what the constant of what proportionality. Uh, let's call it gamma, right? Gamma. Now, then also x should be equal to what? According to Galileo, it should be what x plus v t. Again, Galileo said, when uh, Lawrence said that what this is not so. That this should be what x. Uh, it should be x equals what this. The same gamma so the same gamma it is also what proportional in the same constant now we want to be able to derive what is this very constant 
So what is the constant there? Let's see it, what is going to be. Now, what I will say is, let's call this one equation 1. Let's call this one equation 2. Now, multiply equation 1 and 2, you have what? X. Now, before we talk about this, um, let's, let's, let's do something. I was talking about an, a, a light being released from here. Now, that light is going to travel with the speed, what? C. Now, in my own frame of reference, if that light travels a distance and it strikes a particular, uh, and, and it causes an event to occur at a particular point, now, what is the time taken for that? What is what is the distance traveled for that, uh, that for that very light? According to me, it's going to be what x equals what ct, right? That's the the the, 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 the distance is what the, the speed of light times what times time. Now, and I also, I mean, you also are going to in your own frame of reference k prime, you are going to observe this very event to be what this is going to be what this is where I'm going to observe my event. And you are going to observe your event from here. So what? The, 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 the distance are not the same. So, but you are going, the, what, is, what, is going to, what is going to happen is that what? You are going to observe this event at what? CT prime. And if you look at this distance, or this X prime, if you look at this distance, you will discover that what? X and, C, X, and, uh, and X prime, they are not the same. And but C and C are the same. So what must happen so that the light, the speed of light, should remain the same? That means that was from one frame of reference or the other, either the time is slow or the length contracts. So that is what is going to happen. Let's but let's move on. Now, if we have it that the, if we have this, we are going to say that what if you can make this subject the formula T will be what x over C, right? And then T prime will be what? Uh, X prime over C. So we, are, we really need these two things here. That's why I have to come back to it. Now let us multiply, say, equation 1 times equation 2. Let's see. This is going to be what? On this side, it will be what? X, X times X prime. Then on this side, we are going to multiply X. This, sorry, this is um, X prime V T prime, please. So, x times x prime is what this simply first of all let me multiply gamma and gamma so i can have what gamma square right this is going to be what x x prime then this times this i mean this times this is going to be what um plus x v t prime then this times this will be what minus x prime v t then we have what this times this now we have what v square t t prime remember t, t and t prime they are not the same so we cannot add them together so let me bring it out here so that we can uh, really look at it and see so this x x prime equals what gamma square into what x x prime plus uh, x v t prime minus what x prime v t uh, not v t prime plus what v square t t prime right so this is what we have now what must we do Now, let's go. So we have x, x prime equals what? Gamma square into, now what do we have? This x, x prime, I'm going to leave that because there's a reason I'm leaving that. But this very x, then we have plus x, uh, v. Now what is, what is t, t prime? We remember that what t prime is what? x prime over c. So I'm going to replace that with this times what? x prime over what over c then this is going to be what minus x prime then times v 
times what? What is t? t is what? x over c times x over c plus, then this is v square. Now, what is t again? t is what? This x over c, then t prime is what? x prime over c, pardon me on that, then close the bracket. So this is going to be what? This is going to be x, x prime equals what? Gamma square into what? This x, x prime plus what? Now we have what? x, uh, let me, let me, let me recall it this way, v, x, x prime over c, right? Minus what? v, x, x prime over c plus what? v square x, x prime over c square. So c times c here. So this is what we now have. Now, what do we have again? Now, you look at this. These two can cancel. They are the same. Minus 1 plus 1. That's just it. So, x, x prime equals what? Gamma square into into x, x prime. Now, you look at, okay, let's just collect this thing together. We have v square over c square x x prime right now let us factor out x prime so we can or let's divide let this we divide through by x prime if you look at this uh, math, you have your you have your mathematical eyes you have this can cancel right everywhere so that one so that um one equals what gamma square into what uh, 1 minus v square over c square, right? Now, so that gamma equals what? 1 over what? If you take the square root of both sides and then you make gamma subject of the formula, this is what you have. You have this. 1, one, one minus what? v square over what c square so this is what gamma is this is what it is now let us go back and represent it the way it should be in terms of now let's go back to um Lorentz transform now, how, how does Lorentz transformation looks like Lorentz trans the transformation agrees with z and z prime because they are they are perpendicular to the direction of motion y equals what y prime but x prime equals what? x minus vt times gamma. And this gamma is what? 1 over this. That's going to be what? Over 1 minus v square over c square. So this is how we got what? Lorentz transformation of velocities. Now, what is going to be x? I would have shown you, but there's no need for us to waste so much of, of, of time x is going to be what in terms of x prime it's going to be x prime minus or plus vt prime you know the reason why it is plus here is what because if i'm seeing your velocity to be negative yours you are going you are going to see my own velocity to be what positive so that is just it over one minus v square over c square so this is what we have so that, that is the transformation of what of of um, coordinates but we are not true you know um if we are we are we we know that in special relativity we talk about what space time now we also say that what the time are not the same right the time are not going to be the same so the time taken for an event to occur the time that uh, taken for an, an event to occur in your frame of reference is not is not going to be the same for me and in fact if you must know time slows down when objects move closer to the speed of light so let's really look at um what, what what will be the time what will be the time in your frame k prime in terms of what my own time in uh, t in my prime so now let's see what is what that is going to be so i'll just use one of these equations let me use this i say x 
Prime. It was what? Let me rub off a, a little bit. X uh, prime equals what? Now I'm not going to call. I'm not going to, going to put this for gamma. I'll just put uh, normal gamma for it, so that we have we have no more gamma is. This is what x minus v t, right? Uh, gamma. But remember that what? That x equals to, x prime equals what? C t, right? And C t prime, and x equals what? C C T, right? So that T is equals what? X over C, right? Let's work. Let's, let's work with. I want to find T prime. So here I'm going to replace what we have here with what? With um, with uh, C. So now this is what I'm going to do. I mean, this is going to be what C T prime, right? equals what um, this x here is x here is what ct right minus what vt if we should see then gamma is there then we have what that um, let's let's still work with this ct prime equals what this is ct minus v now i want to take away t from here what is t this thing is very very easy for you for us to understand. Um, C T is what x over c. So I'm going to say what v times what x over c instead of t, right? I'm just manipulating so I can get what, what I need. Everything times what gamma. Now, then we have that what if you if you divide through by what by c by c c cancels here c cancels here so t prime equals what t minus what v times yeah, minus v times x over c square and it's just very simple c square then everything what into gamma now this is what it is so we have what um t prime equals what t minus v x over c square now what is gamma 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 is what one over I mean one over what root of one minus v square over c square this is how we get what this this is how we can uh, transform time from one frame to another when objects move closer to the speed of light because you must know that what Lorentz transformation comes to play when objects move closer and closer to the speed of light. And the reason is because if you see this term here, v square over c square, if if it is if, if v is very much less, let's say this v is 20 meter per second and the speed of light is 3, 3 times 10 by 8. Now, if you take this, if you compute this, you are going to have this thing tending to do what? To go back to uh, um, uh, Galilean transformation. So, but this is what we this is what how to trans how to how to, how to transform from uh, t to what to t prime. Well, how can you transform time from t prime to t? Now, this is going to come to from uh, k prime to k. So, like I told you, this one is from what? This is from k to what to k prime. Now, from k prime to what to k. So you want to express t in terms of others. But like I told you, all you need to do is what? Is to change this sign. But this x here is going to be what? x prime. So it's going to be what? t prime minus what? Plus v x prime over what? Root of 1 minus v square over c square. I will leave you to figure out how this is done. But it's just very simple. The same way we have done it. So this is how to, how to do that. So let me write out the the important equations that we got now. So we have we have the first one. 
Um, x prime equals what? x minus vt over what? Square root of 1 minus v square over c square. Then x equals what? V, uh, x prime plus what? vt over 1 minus v square over c square. Then t prime, this is the, so these are the two um, that we, the other ones I want to write. Now this is the what we call what the Lorentz transformation of what of of uh, velocity of um, coordinates. So and the coordinates are going to be what if if an event occurs at a point A, right? My coordinates according to my prime my my, my frame which is what k is going to be what x y z then what t. Yours is going to be what? Your k prime of what? Uh, the same point A as what? X prime, Y prime, Z prime, and T prime. Now, these two are equal, these two are equal, or these two are not equal. This is what? Lorentz transformation of of uh, coordinates now and this really tells us that what that if you are moving closer to the speed of light galenian transformation does not work for you in the next video we are going to look at some, some examples and uh, we also look at Gale i mean uh, transformation of velocities so do share share this very video don't fail to subscribe